This is the Movie Channel. All movies 24 hours a day. The heart of Hollywood beats on with an epic battle between good and evil. Frank Herbert's science fiction classic, Dune, takes you to the desert planet Arrakis, where a lone hero emerges to lead his people to freedom. Next on the Movie Channel. Election night, November 4th. They're going to teach you all we can about communism. Really? Ronald Reagan goes to war in a movie channel double feature hosted by his son, Michael. First... You wouldn't hit a man with malaria, would you? The battle lines are drawn at a military hospital as he takes on a hot-blooded Scotsman who's dying to get home. He really got to die, sister. Because if he isn't, I'm thinking of killing him. He offers his friendship. But what else can you give a man with two weeks left to live? Well, if nobody objects, I'll give him that jacket and skirt. Ronald Reagan stars in The Hasty Heart. Then... You're a capitalistic fake! I'll go bomb yourself. Ronald Reagan goes undercover to reveal the truth about a Korean POW camp. Now that summer is here, things at the camp are getting to be in fine shape. We have received shipments of new clothing, shaving stuff, and all kinds of athletic equipment. Prisoner of War, right after the Hasty Heart, election night, November 4th, starting at 9, 8 central. It's a Ronald Reagan double feature hosted by Michael Reagan on the movie channel. Some of you may even get to the Soviet Union. Really? month, the Heart of Hollywood is coming to you on location from the Deauville Film Festival in Deauville, France. You know, a few years ago, an Australian named Paul Hogan became kind of famous in America for a series of commercials inviting all of us Americans to come to the land down under. Well, that same Paul Hogan is now starring in a movie called Crocodile Dundee, which has become, as a matter of fact, the largest grossing film of all time in Australia. Good night. Hello. Good night. Tired of television, Hogan decided at the age of 47 to carve out a new career for himself. He wrote a movie script about an outback Australian who visits New York. I went up to New York two and a half years ago for the launch of this tourist campaign. It was my first visit there. And found the place to be, you know, like so fast and uh, hectic and insane and, and so much colour and movement as everybody does when they first go to New York. It's, you know, it's the big city in the world. Fe felt a bit of a fish out of water there, but enjoyed it. I went home and I went, uh, almost a week after I got home, I went up to the Northern Territory to do a bit of, a bit of fishing, a bit of shooting, and there's, a, you know, some good places to be up there. It's a real wilderness. And I struck some guys I know that live up there and shoot the odd crocodile or two and, uh, and lived that life. And I thought, if I felt like a fish out of water in New York, one of these guys who are a real stone age, you know, there would be like going to another planet. So I sat down and wrote Crocodile Dundee. Looking for a good time, honey? Oh, I was looking for a good time. Either of you uh, ladies attached or married or anything like that? <laughs> no, we're both single ladies. 